Southeast Europe has a rich and diverse archaeological and architectural cultural heritage, ranging from fortresses, archaeological sites, religious buildings, urban and rural areas, vernacular architecture and industrial heritage. A recent workshop in Tirana, Albania, organized by the Regional Cooperation Council's Task Force on Culture and Society Secretariat, focused on remedial and preventative conservation as key methods in preservation and rehabilitation of the region's cultural heritage. We consider that these type of topics, so of workshops, are extremely important because people, technical people, our staffs are going to really have to cope with the urgent and not so urgent situations. The workshop presented the results of activities as part of the EU grant of half a billion euro for sustaining the rehabilitation of cultural heritage in the Western Balkans, coordinated by the task force. The purpose of this grant is to uh, provide support to the overall implementation of Ljubljana process activities precisely to provide small incentives to bridge the gaps in the overall rehabilitation process. And it turned out that there were four main lines of activities that needed improvement in this process. These are urgent interventions in terms of preventing further deterioration of cultural monuments, then preliminary investigation in order to provide the most viable options for a rehabilitation of cultural assets, to produce a project design and to prepare management plans with providing relevant training. Furthermore, through this grant, the involvement of the NGO sector was strongly encouraged, bearing in mind the important role that this sector plays in promoting and safeguarding the cultural heritage in the region. One of the key outputs this meeting was the publication of a learning package for researchers, professionals and authorities in the field of remedial and preventative conservation. We need this publication to improve the rules of maintenance and preventing conservation everything that is needed to preserve heritage. The important role played by local people with their own cultural heritage was stressed. The local communities should be involved in every issue of cultural heritage because we don't protect heritage for its own sake but also for the local community and for, for the benefits that the local community can achieve through cultural heritage. But inevitably, urgent measures are exactly that, short-term solutions for long-term results. As we have seen today from uh, all the presentations, the obvious conclusion comes to mind. Urgent intervention is not an end to itself. It's only a step in the long process of cultural heritage rehabilitation.